Hey guys, it's some Jermaine 7 here again today with uh, the Giants of Corellia DLC map of Final Stand and a possible 6 DLC for Battlefield 4. Now, this is big news. It's been rumored for a long time. And there was a Q&A with one of the DICE employees. And basically, throughout the whole thing, he just said, you'll know at the end of Battlefest. He any questions involving it he said that there's there there is more to the future of battlefield and right now I'm just giving you a map overview and I'm gonna try and blow up the roof it took a lot of C4 and a little bit of editing because I may have killed myself once or twice anyway the end of Battlefest is December 8th and there is rumors going around from everybody that DICE is going to release another DLC or announce it on, at the end of Battlefest. Now, this is big news. It, it, it'll it just show with every, the community that EA does care sometimes. EA is trying to make up for the rough launch Battlefield 4 had. And right now I'm just showing you the ma the roof collapsing, obviously. Uh, the caves and tunnel systems around the secret base. There's a nice little ladder. But it, the sixth DLC, if it is to come out, none of this is confirmed. This is just my opinion. I think that it's going to be Battlefield 3 related maps, such as Grand Bazaar, um, No Shark Canals. Probably some of the ones that were in DLCs. Probably the four or five community fan favorites. Which my guess would be Sand Crossing. Definitely. I love that map. And right here you can see you can close the little gates to defend. A little easier. Um, This deal, if it is a DLC, I am going to love it. I love Battlefield 3. Grand Bazaar, No Shark Canal, Sand Crossing. Uh, Damavon Peak. Those are my top four that aren't in the game already. And F Fire Operation Firestorm's in there too. But that's already in the uh, Second Assault DLC. Now my question is, if it does come out, are there going to be Level Lucia effects along with it? My hope is yes. That would be awesome. Anyway, that's the roof that collapses. But this DLC... If it comes out, it's going to blow everybody away. I really hope that DICE does make this a thing. I can't wait for December 8th. I'm going to... If it does come out, I'm going to make a video on every one of those maps, and I'm going to love it. I'm going to love every second of it. Um, right now, I'm at C, I believe. And Giants of Corellia is a good map. I'm just not good at it. I did terrible. I <coughs> excuse me. I was one and six at the time of me being in this tank. I was doing terribly, but also as you'll see, I'm gonna be driving around in third person because this map is great for C4 and vehicles. As you can see, there's the, there's the tall caverns. Vehicles are going to get lost, stuck. I almost flipped the tank, as you'll see later on. I eventually get blown up by a jet. I'm not sure if I include that. But it's a great map. I'm just not good at it. Um, there are... Like, this is one of the caverns I'm talking about. It's so easy to get c 4 in there. If you're looking through first person, that's why I'd recommend going around in third person on that map. And as you can see on the bottom left, our teammates had mines down, so also look out for those. At least I think, I'd, yeah, yeah, mines. Um, also, I want your guys' opinion. What is your number one Battlefield 3 map? And another reason I'm thinking that this might be happening is because DICE has, not DICE, but the Battlefield, I'm not sure exactly what it is, they've been keeping up on Twitter 
about asking the community their fan favorite maps, what they love most about Battlefield 3. A lot of Battlefield 3 questions, which is making me lead to thinking that it's going to be a Battlefield 3 based DLC. Now, I'm hoping and thinking it might be a free one due to thank the community, you know, kick off Battlefest, which is about the player players, with a thank you for sticking through, even through the tough times that Battlefield 4 had at the beginning that made me really mad and regret buying the game, but now I love it. I I think EA is finally taking a step in the right direction. They're, they're fixing what they did wrong, which is great. I, I'm thinking that this is a great move that EA is going to make. Now, as you can see, th this, this is a uh, very cliff-based area, as I almost flip over the tank. You can get flanks very easily in this game, this map especially, as I get shot at by that jet, which ends up killing me. Anyway, back to the DLC. I know this is supposed to be a giant Corellia map, but I just didn't do that well. There's not that much to it. I, there just isn't. There's mainly just all I've shown you. There, there's some other cave systems and such. And I include a little derp film for you guys, just because I felt like spawning in a helicopter. Little did I know that the enemies did not want me to. Little did they know that I was going to get payback for that. Which I do. Anyway, I, if you leave me your opinions about the, the rumored 6 DLC, remember, none of this is confirmed, this is just my opinion as I get my revenge kill. I hope that DICE does this. This would be a great DLC and let me know what your opinions are of it. Can't end a video without a helicopter getting shot by an RPG. So this is SlimJim87. I'll see you guys later. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want. I'm open to any suggestions, comments, whatever you want. Bye.